today is John Lucero. Hello. And we have got, um, I don't know, John, would you consider this sort of a mini game club of one, basically? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I mostly just wanted to talk about Dragon Ball. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, was, uh, yeah. Yeah. So um, basically, we're going to be talking about Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, I guess, is the uh, preferred pronunciation of that. Fighter Z, however you yes. want to word it. Uh, I mean, fighters. It is yeah. officially Fighters. Yeah. 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 Um, so you have been playing this a little bit. You've been playing this on the PlayStation 4, correct? Yes, okay. yes, and a little bit's kind of an understatement. I've been playing a lot of this game. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so let's let's start off with a big thing here. Um, I'm I'm sort of a lapsed fighter guy, um, and even then, like I wasn't into the online play very much because it felt sort of like first person shooters where if you weren't at a certain level after a certain amount of time, you were just going to get steamrolled. Um, sure. So as far as like uh, single player goes, I've heard this thing is kind of hefty. So why don't you uh, why don't you talk to me about how like how hefty this campaign thing is? It is. I'm actually not done with it yet. Uh, it is, I'm probably halfway, two thirds of the way through it. And it's, I've heard it's 15 hours ish is how, how long it, uh, typically is. Mm -hmm. There are three arcs. Each one lasts about five hours. So I am towards the end of the second one. Um, and there are some cool ideas in there. Uh, it's got, at least for a fighting game, it's kind of like a, uh, a board game setup when you're, uh, for each, they're, they're called maps, but it's just like you move across a board and there are multiple fights to go through. And there's always a boss character at, and that is the end that will end the uh, map you're working with. Um, and then there are a bunch of multiple mini fights along the way to level up your fighters and to get up to get like different perks to, to put on your team. So, um, so yeah, there's like some light RPG stuff going on there. How many perks can you do, like assign per character? Uh, it's three for a team. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's yeah. so it's not a so it's a shared pool of perks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They're very they're very general. Like you get you you do more damage or you have more defense or you get more XP at the end of fights. Okay. Uh, and you get those along the way. They're uh, and the enemies you fight also have per have, have perks at times. Uh, there are. Uh, mini boss. There are many bosses sometimes along the in there too that show up randomly, uh, and it, like that all. I think uh, in, conceptually that all sounds really cool for a fighting game campaign. Like it's not the, your typical uh, fight, fight, a, uh, run the ladder kind of thing, or uh, just, but it is still. But the problem is, is that all the fights are are stupid easy. Like it's it's and they are easy to the point of boring. Okay, now are you like what difficulty level are you playing on? Is there a difficulty setting? Uh, I want to say you can unlock a hard mode if you beat it. I don't remember picking a difficulty honestly. Uh, it'd be normal if I picked it. Okay. Uh, um, and like I have not died in a fight. I have not had a character die in a fight yet of my three characters. Okay, so you haven't even had like one of your characters get knocked out. No. All right. Well, that's a little. Okay. And I am I I am fairly competent in this game. I have got I play online a lot, and I've uh, have gotten to the point where I think I feel like I win more than I lose. Okay. But uh, and I still feel like from everything I've heard from everyone that's played it, it is it is too easy. I hear it gets harder towards the end. The difficulty has picked up to where I do have to switch out characters more often. I can't just like. One man, one man. It like every time, so, like for the first arc, I felt like I was switching characters just so I could play like someone else. But um, and so and it's it's disappointing because like the story and the story itself is, uh, it's I mean it's unique for it's a totally new story, original story written for the game. Okay. They have a new big bad character for the game, Android Twenty One. Uh, she is a Majin android. Yeah, I was gonna say she turns yeah. into like a sexy Majin android after a while, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah, okay. she does. That's the that's uh, a little bit of the plot I understand there. So yeah, yeah, that's basically and there's but and they try to create a conceit to where everyone to explain why everyone can fight each other in the game. Clones, like, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, they, you fight clones constantly, but they also a conceit to why you know uh, everyone is at equal power essentially. Okay. Uh, and that's like. I haven't gotten exactly into what's going on. Like, like the story, the each arc, like the first arc ha went all the way to the end of the story, and then the second one is kind of filling in gaps in between. So it's kind of, 
Uh, and you, the first arc you play is the heroes. The second one is the villains. I don't know you play that in the third arc. Probably both. A little bit of both. Um, and yeah, so like the, this link system, it's uh, is like the soul of this random person. I don't know. I haven't really explained to it. It's you. The, 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 t- the characters talk to the screen all the time. Okay. The fourth was like the fourth wall thing, um, which I don't like. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say I'm not. I'm, uh, not, I'm not real. Uh, yeah. Not really much on those fourth uh, fourth wall breaking sort of things, unless it's like you know a very specific part of the of like the game device, basically. Yeah, and it's like like the link thing is like the big part of it's like the big part of the plot. You know, it connect it, it's and you are the like you switch your soul essentially switches between characters so they can because they cannot they cannot access their powers due to like this wave thing going on. Okay. Uh. So and when but when you go inside them, you can you can unlock their powers. <laughs> Uh, so yes. All right. Well, this sounds, uh, yeah. 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 Even for a Dragon Ball story, it seems silly. Yeah. Uh, Android 21 is okay. She's, she, she's, uh, basically just your classic cackling evil villain. She, she's a Majin. So she like she likes to eat people. Uh, you know, she likes to eat the strongest people possible. Uh, cause she's also an Android like cell. So she wants to eat the strongest things. Um, okay. And, uh, so yeah, she just get, she just gets more and more, uh, twirling evil villain, uh, twirling mustache evil villain towards the, by, by the end of it. But, uh, she's like, she has a good design at least. I think she had a really, uh, really, uh, she fits in the universe. She doesn't seem like she didn't stick out at all. Uh, she, well, I think it's because Toriyama's not much on, uh, we'll say design differentials. Yeah, yeah, fair. Might have something to do with it. That, that'll, I'll talk, I mean, that'll that comes into play with uh, how the the, fight, the characters feel. I mean, you could put uh, you could put Cell in Chrono Trigger, and I don't think it, he would look too out of place. Uh, no, <laughs> can, probably not. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Just yeah, I, that'd, that'd be all right. Yeah. Like, like swap frog with Cell. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> worlds collide. Oh God! Can you imagine that? Like some. Um, some like Marvel vs. Capcom thing, but it's just all yeah. Akira Toriyama oh, characters. Man. That'd be so good. Oh. You would you wouldn't be able to tell think, who was who. I was gonna say. I, <laughs> I, I think uh, I think you're not clear on the definition of yeah. good, but all right. I love it. I love his. Uh, I love his work. So yeah, I think I his art like, style is kind of cool, even if he, yeah. he doesn't have a lot of uh, you know differentiating. Oh, uh, it's all, it's, it's all in the hair. Yeah, it's, pretty much. It's all in the hair. Yeah, so. yeah. He's got like three things of hair to do, basically. And then the so. slimmer and sleeker a uh, bad guy is, the more you have to watch out for them. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so yeah, like I liked all the concepts behind the story, but it just not, has not been fun to play. It really, had. Okay. I give, I may, maybe it'll be more fun for other people that aren't that are not great at fighting games or haven't really played one before, because this is like a big license, so that can draw in people that never played a fighting game before. Um, but. Like I, I would prefer some challenge, like and a reason to mix up my team too. Every and you let your characters level up, so you can. So if you don't switch constantly, they'll out level each other. I have, I just pick, I just kind of switch in all the new people every time we get one and leave like the, I'll leave like Goku in there or Frieza in there, because uh, they're, because uh, they're level because they're the first character you get, so they level up. They are always a high level. Yeah, you, you yeah. Know. I mean, it's kind of like leaving Chrono in your party in Chrono Trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, that uh, overall, I'd say I'm just pretty disappointed in the story, it, and I think, and it's more disappointing because, like I said, this is a, a a good gateway fighting game for people, and a good a an easy way to recommend this to people. Be like, oh yeah, at least play the single player; it's really, really good. And from what I understand, also like the Guilty Gear single players are pretty cool. So, and this is this is Arxis, Arxis, uh, I, made, I made am, this. I'm wondering though. I mean. <laughs> When you say like it's really good, it, I mean, think of a like a storyline for uh, for a fighting game that you ever I, I considered meant, really good. I, I meant pretty cool. I said pretty cool for okay. Okay. Think good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah I well, don't because wanna, like yeah. originally, like you know, the Capcom or you know, like you know, Capcom sort of is the one that you know got this genre to bust out into the scene, and you know, for me, just having it wasn't even the, like you know there's no story in street fighter 2 but i mean you know just having that on the super nintendo was enough for me i mean i guess there's enough competition out there now that that might not be enough to compel people but like i'm not looking for a story mode for the most part it's like as yeah. long as the fighting feels good i'm fine with it i can't tell you how many times i beat um street fighter 2 
on whatever the highest difficulty level was and on, you know, with each character and not losing a round or whatever. But, you know, it's like those were those were the, uh, you know, halcyon days of my youth when I could, uh, you know, dedicate that kind of time to learning something. Um, you know, these days I can't. But, you know, that was um, that was enough for me to get through a fighting game it was like if I just enjoyed it and it felt good enough. Yeah, and this game definitely ha- it definitely has a a uh, a good tower mode. Like it's a good it has a good arcade. Okay. Um, it's so if you in terms of single player content, it's definitely the, that's definitely the strongest mode. Uh, it has a good tutorial mode too, okay. and with some uh, different practice challenges you can do. And comp it has like a, a uh, combo challenge thing that teaches you uh, like ten uh, each ten combos for each character to uh, to master get aggressively harder as it goes on. Okay. But uh. Arcade wise, yeah, there's it's actually one of the cooler arcade modes I've seen. Uh, the I've not played, I've not really played Guilty Gear. I don't think I ever played the arcade mode in Guilty Gear. Uh, but in this one, the you have a first fight, and depending on how how well you're graded for your fight, uh, you have like uh, three different uh, paths you, it can take you. Like so, if you do well, you fight a harder fight next time, and so on and so forth. If you do poorly, you or if you lose, you go down a difficulty sort of. Okay. And all culminating, and then if you get enough S ranks or A ranks, uh, you can end up fighting the toughest challenge at the end of, at the end of the tower. But uh, it seems like even if you do poorly constantly, you'll at least finish the arcade. It'll there is a bottom tier, so I thought that was kind of cool because uh, arcade can, arcade can get kind of frustrating if you just like get stuck on a fight uh-huh. over. Yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when I first started playing Street Fighter, and I got up to uh, like. Uh, Vega or you know uh, Sagat, uh, yeah, I started getting a little frustrated with there. I mean, you know, it was yeah, cheap as all shit. So yeah. having something like that, I think, is definitely a good uh, good gateway thing because it rewards you for doing well, and then doesn't really punish you for not doing well enough. I suppose. So yeah, it sounds like a it sounds like a nice uh, entry point for somebody just looking to kind of you know maybe uh, shake off the rust in my case, or you know just get into this genre. Yeah, and there's a uh, three different there's a uh, there's three different uh, options in an arcade. Uh, you have to you have to beat you have to beat the previous one to unlock the next one. But there and then no wait no the first we are always unlocked and then you unlock a hard mode of each one I believe. Oh, okay. uh, once you pass it, so for the yeah there's a short and uh, there's a hard mode for the short one, medium one, and long one. So you don't have to like always use the, like the seven man match gauntlet uh, if you don't want like the three match one has a hard mode too. If you just want to do it quick run through an arcade uh so yeah really really st- uh, good arcade mode it's muscle tower for dragon ball fans uh which is a, a nice like the lobby is cool it's some people might find it annoying that it's you there you can quickly warp between things there's a men- there is a more uh a general menu system if you don't yeah. want to walk around everything but it's re- got a lot of cool uh y- things you, you can tell that they love dragon ball like the training area is king kai's planet uh Muscle Tower is the arcade. Tournament mode is the world tournament straight stage, of course. Uh, there's also a big uh, world tournament uh, arena in the middle of it for for arena matches. Uh, if you're in the lobby, uh, all that's for people in it, it, specifically in the lobby uh, can can start those and fight each other and kind of like a round robin sort of thing. And so yeah, like the the lobby system is really cool, hmm. uh, but like the the big thing about this game, and I think the reason it's amazing, it's I mean it's important, is that the fighting itself, while being really good, is also like super accessible. Like it just getting the basics in this is really is like one or two matches, and you kind of got an idea of how to play this game. Okay, like there, like there is a there's a dash, your throw, and, and it's pretty much all go. It's very offensive based. Like there's plenty of blocking, and there are par- there's a there is a parry of sorts. But it's not like Street Fighter Three defensive. No, no, no. There is no. Okay. There is not. A, it's not a Street Fighter Three parry by any means. It's just like sort of a a more advanced block, uh, and it's like a direction, and it's like a direction and a button press and uh, two button presses maybe. Uh, but it's mostly like you have your super dash, which will dash you over like uh, attacks too if you're if you use it right. And the throw can get through blocks, of course. And that's also basically just a a, a shorter dash, uh, which which is also it also turns into a launcher, so you can use that for combos too. And 
I think the the and every character has a uh, two auto com- two auto combos uh, the, with your square 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 your x x x and then five five triangles or y's uh, will are auto combos and but there are also quarter circles quarter circle backs and forwards that will do those combos will do the finishing moves in those combos but do a little more damage behind them okay and those actually and those uh, also uh use meter the auto combos do not use meter oh, okay uh, so it's not yeah. quite as egregious as something to say like uh catcom versus snk to uh the e or the eo editions i think that were on the xbox and the gamecube where you can map certain special moves to like the or i think it was the right thumbstick if i'm remembering right on those um yeah that's not okay. right so it's nothing. It's nothing quite like that, where you could basically like, okay, well, these are the four special moves I want to have at all time. It's just you have like two defaults that are set to those. Yeah, like every yeah, like every character, uh, every character has their default. They also have, X is also or or I mean X or A depending on what you're playing on is also a uh, your energy. Everyone everyone's energy blast move. Uh, everyone has a everyone has a different speed behind their energy blast too. I believe um, a little bit actually they might be the same. Might be thinking of specific moves, uh, and you got your you know your light, medium, heavies. So it's yeah, it's like that's basically it. Like every character's ultimate or uh, or finishing move is a quarter circle ba- as a quarter circle back uh, R two, and uh, they and they uses three meters. So every character's they all used some have. Uh, Additions to their supers. Also, if you uh, if you have a, more, a little more meter, so you can do a little more damage if you hold down the button. Basically, uh, if you have enough meter to do it. Okay. But also, blocking pretty much t- uh, cancels all damage if you if you know if you uh, time your block right. So there isn't there's hardly any chip damage in this game. Okay. So yeah, like they. Like while so while everything is easy, I feel like they balance it just the right way to where spamming is not going to is online at least is not quite going to get you where you want it where you want it to <laughs> so because because again like a lack of chip damage is actually a big deal in that case uh but yeah i think the most complex part of the game is is the fact that it's a 3v3 so managing assists and each and every time you use an assist from a character and they all have their own unique one. That's probably the most. That's probably the most. The biggest learning curve is learning every character's assist move, uh, and where, it, where the best ways to use them. Like, uh, I have my team is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. If you want me to say it like that. No, I don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would like Saiyan to end Blue, this podcast sometime today. Thank you. Yeah, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Trunks, and Android 18. Who are and those three characters, like in general, my probably my favorite characters in the show. Some of them, at least. Um, and 18's assist is a barrier. It's a very close range barrier, but if you time it right, like it, it's a, it can really throw off a person attacking you, and, and you can get in right there for a, it, uh, for a good a good combo. And then Trunks has a uh, short range uh, short range like explosion and right in front of you. And then so is this is like a, is this kids kid trunks or like the future trunks we would see future, in, future uh, trunks the uh, ki- okay future trunks. kid trunks is again goat is go tanks with go 10 okay so, so they they have super saiyan 3 go tanks uh super saiyan 3 go tanks. jesus god yeah i missed a lot yeah. like i it's, i checked yeah. out after the cell saga yeah oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. you you the boo saga goes off the rails <laughs> pretty quick uh it's got some good uh, yeah it goes off the rails uh, um so um, what? Okay, a question I've got here. Um, now, as far as like the arcade mode and the online mode, do you have to unlock these characters in the story mode, or do they just open up to you right away? Uh, Twenty one is unlocked through beating the story mode, so you cannot play as her until you beat the story mode. Uh, and by be- if you if you did not pre order the game like I did, um, you cannot. Uh, Super Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta are unlocked by beating the hard modes of the two longest uh, arcade. Getting an getting an A rank on the two hard modes in arcade. Okay. Um, or um, have you uh, or, ha- have you messed with that? Uh, the hard modes. Yeah. Uh, not yet. Okay. I, was, I, was I, ask I, unlo- I have I, I have unlocked all of them. I've played the, I've I played each arcade tower, but I've most but uh, I usually only go to arcade to uh, to warm up a bit. Um, if I if I haven't played if I 
I've been kind of warm up, warming up with the story, but it's kind of shitty warm ups because uh, it's a little too easy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the uh, same the other there was like yeah. another way to unlock them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you beat them hard mode, or uh, they're very you, you get you get money, you get Zenny in the game, and Zenny is used to unlock. Uh, you buy capsules, and capsules give you a lot of just cosmetic stuff like lobby characters and titles and things like that stamps and whatnot uh <clears throat> and for like i forget the price it's pretty high amounts you can purchase uh super saiyan blue goku and vegeta yeah separately okay so there are options for getting them now yeah. can you pay a uh, real world bucks for this uh for the zenny uh for zenny i don't think so there is a there is a currency that seems like it's a premium currency i haven't been like bombarded with purchasing anything though uh-huh. so i so like if there is you have to you have to kind of dig for it a bit there it's uh because you get that premium currency in capsules randomly too like there is one i've there is a option to just buy 10 capsules at once if you have enough money uh and they all explode at once it's pretty great but uh i had one that i literally got only premium coins out of all the 10 so like they're they hand them out pretty frequently uh but yeah i i have not been told to go buy zenny i'm sure that it probably is but uh not it's not agreed just by any means okay. and all okay. and all the caps and again all the cops all the all the uh capsules are cosmetics anyway other than the those two characters are basically more offensive versions of goku and vegeta um vegeta uh like uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is uh, who I prefer. He's a he he uh, hits a little harder, but uh, the other one has a few has a, a, uh, a uh, the other one's more of a zoner than uh, this than Blue is. Uh, so, but but yeah, like the it's just super stupid fun to play this game. It is a fucking ex- assault on the senses. <laughs> it's like it is it is all it's like three they give you 300 seconds uh per match i've never I've, i don't think a match has come close to timing out on me <laughs> so they give like they and like matches can end if you heavy attack someone to, to kill the, to kill their character they will get launched into a mountain or a building or something and the, it's a destructive finish or if you use a uh a, a, a your finisher You'll blow up like the planet or something, depending on who, which which character, which finisher you use. Well, that seems counterproductive. Yeah, yeah like there, and there's every time a finisher is used, it like breaks into a cutscene, like sort of. But they're so, but they're really fa- they're so they're just fast enough to where it it, do, it doesn't like uh, get get annoying. And they're really and they're all all the cutscenes are of course like really uh, take, taken straight from the show pretty much. Just like they're. The way they the way they charge their attack before they use it. Uh, there's the I'm sure you've heard of, have you heard of the dramatic finishes you can get? No. Uh, the uh, which are extent literally just the endings from big fights in the show. <laughs> like uh, there's free there's the if you like if you uh, Goku and you beat Frieza on Namek uh, uh, with I forget the exact stipulation. Uh, it basically gives you the, the how Goku kills Frieza at the end of the Frieza saga. Like he gives him energy, and then Frieza blasts him, and then he, and then Goku finishes him off after that. Yeah, so, like it doesn't or, yeah, Frieza like yeah. take a shot at him and he turns around, yeah. you fool, and then smacks yeah. it back or and just, just blasts blast him away. into oblivion. Yeah, yeah. There's that one. There's Cell and Gohan. There's uh, the the end of the Boo saga. There's Yamcha getting blown up by a Cyberman if you fight Nappa. Um, <laughs> There's also one. I believe there is a, a finish. I haven't seen it, but there's one where Yamcha actually doesn't die there and, and defeats Nappa. Uh, so there, yeah. Like this is a lot of a lot of good stuff for fans. Like this, they re, they really you can really tell they they like Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> they you can like they really really like Dragon Ball Z, which makes sense when, if you play, if you played any Guilty Gear. <laughs> so, but it's <laughs> so, so yeah, that's just been great. The online matches, the network code has been pretty good generally. I've I have been I've had a couple matches drop on me, and been a little con- uh, connections have been a little wonky at times. But overall, 
not not bad uh, for a launch. And yeah, that was uh, that was actually going to be my next question: was how much problem or if I don't know. I guess the beta was a little mm, yeah, little yeah, with yeah, issues. Yeah. yeah, the beta did not that had me worried, but I have I've played a lot of matches, so and okay. it's and so it sounds uh, like that they took the time with that beta to actually uh, maybe hammer some of those issues out. Thankfully, and did what they were supposed to do with the beta. Yeah, yeah, it looks cool. it looks it looks that way. Again, it's not perfect yet. Hopefully, it'll get better. Uh, uh, and oops, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say, but yeah, it's just it's just super fun, and it's super like I th- I really feel like you do, also anyone, especially if you like Dragon Ball, you'll have a lot of fun with this game just just immediately. Even if you don't, though, it's so ridiculous, and it makes you feel like you're doing shit all the time. <laughs> that i think you'll i think people will like it for that too like it it is definitely like i'm looking forward i hope it will be an evo this year There's, it seems like it has based on what i've heard some 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 uh it, it, some some competitive competitive clout like there is there are people figuring out stuff in this game there is a depth to this game that isn't that that uh is found in the way you chain so many different things together also mastering with assist characters you can like if you have enough meter you can use different if you use a uh, one of your super moves your general your more uh like your single meter ones you can bring in other characters from your assist ones you have enough meter to do theirs too and it's also and that brings them into the fight uh one thing i do also do like is that uh unlike marvel's capcom uh, if you bring in assist characters and they get hit, the, the, I don't believe you can lose more than one character at a time. <laughs> so no. it, le- it bring- leaves a little more room for the comeback. I have had matches where I have soloed with one character and just and took out an entire team with one character at the end. When I, <laughs> I've with the so and that I gotta say those feel really good. <laughs> That's a, it's and it's yeah I. A lot, a lot of, a uh, lot of, a lot of really intense fights in this one. Cool. All right. So my final and probably most important question for me, um, in the single player, uh, what's the uh, what's the TTK on this? Time to Krillin. Uh, time to Krillin. Really quick. I believe he is. Uh, you start out as Goku, and I believe the next character you get on your team is Krillin, if I remember Sweet. correctly. He, he is, All right. He is, he is second or third. Uh, Destructo disc is, I believe, a quarter circle forward. Yeah, quarter think... circle, quarter circle R one. Okay. I believe is it's Destructo disc. <laughs> yeah, I do uh, remember you telling me it was like a pretty yeah. simple move, basically a Hadouken. Yeah, so. that might also be one of his auto combos. Nice. I I, I, you I know, what? I can't imagine yeah. it wouldn't be. I mean, what else yeah. does the dude have? Uh, he has a scatter, <laughs> scatter Kamehameha, the one where he forget uh, a scatter, whatever it's called, the one where he shoots it up into the sky and then brings it to, and like controls where it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that's his. That's his ultimate. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So I kind the of one think destructo disc would be the ultimate, you know. I mean, that managed to. Well, he he's like, he, he's never gotten anyone with it. Didn't he like cut off somebody's or part of somebody off, with he it? Cut off Frieza's tail and then okay. got and then got murdered. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it, like the closest someone had got was Frieza cut him cut himself in half with his own destructo disc. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, it, yeah, destructo. Tractor Disc has almost been awesome multiple times. Like yeah, it's see? It, it, it's a really cool looking attack. It's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And if you can actually but, hit somebody uh, with a fucking thing, it's actually pretty yeah. great. But yeah, there's that yeah. caveat. So, so, but yeah, I uh, I have actually because I've been playing a lot of this, and I've also been watching uh, catching up with Dragon Ball Super. I'm pretty. I am all caught up with where the English uh, dub is at. Mm-hmm. The Japanese dub is. I'm pretty sure. Like pretty sure. Like a few it's, episodes, I mean, it's about, probably. It's, yeah, it's it's about, I'm pretty sure English is about halfway through where the Japanese dub is at, or the Japanese uh, uh, version is at. So, and I believe, and also I believe the Japanese one is ending in March, for at least for the time being, from what they've said. Oh, okay. So yeah, Super might be coming to an end. It has it's it, it's finally gotten. Uh, like the, the the first twenty or thirty episodes, I'm trying to, uh, were literally just retellings of the two movies that came out in theaters, uh, which I understand why they did that because those movies are canon. They're the first two movies to be canon in Dragon Ball. But it's after I did, I mean, after watching them, I also saw Resurrection F, the one with Golden Frieza in theaters, which was great. 
a packed theater of Dragon Ball fans watching him was pretty great. <laughs> uh, and but yeah, the, and the movies are good for especially for Dragon Ball movies. They're uh, they're they're pretty good. So, but watching it again, they were like they were like kind of like the episodes, like especially the early ones, were animated. Like the animation wasn't great, and yeah, like they were just super. It was long. It was long versions of the movies, which was weird. Okay. But after that, when it gets to the original stuff, it gets much better. And they just got to I, Future Trunks is back now, and there's Goku Black now, who's also in the game. Uh, that's there are there are three Gokus in this game. There's Go, uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and Goku Black. Uh, Goku Black is a villain. I don't think he is actually Goku. I have not figured out who he is yet. I have theories. I have avoided a lot of spoilers. In this sh- I'm pretty good at avoiding spoilers for things. I knew he existed. I I know of the existence of things. I just don't really know the context of things. So. So yeah. So I'm trying to figure out who Goku Black is. <laughs> But uh, he's from the future, or he, Future Trunks comes back from the future. Basically, it's basically just the Android Saga again. <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Interesting. I, I like Future Trunks though, so it's all right. Uh, he's much more interesting than Kid Trunks. It's, it's, but yeah, he's just like a obnoxious version of Gohan, right? Uh, yeah, he, he yeah he was. He had the, the cockiness of Vegeta and the annoying parts of Goten. Yeah. Oh, you mean of Gohan? Uh, yeah, Gohan was a little more... Uh, Whiny? Except, I mean, yeah, uh, early on, I mean, he's crying the entire time. Like, yeah, first yeah. few times you see him. But until, Let's also uh, remember, he was like, what, three, four? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's like five, I think, when the, when the Saiyans show up. Yeah. After, I think Piccolo takes him into the wilderness when he's four years old. So yeah. like I cut the kid some slack. He has yeah. a good he his arc is amazing and up until the Boo saga. But before that, it's amazing. Uh a, a little, Yeah, the fact that he's uh, able to hang with Frieza even for a little bit at what, yeah. six years old? Seven? Yeah. Uh yeah. He, there's a yeah. The his arc is one of the best examples of like a patient, a patient writer. It's like the build towards him being Super Saiyan Two is what makes him that moment so great. So it's yeah. Was he the first one to hit that? Or yeah, he's the first one. Okay. Before that, there was Ascended Saiyan, which is when they got really big and buff, but they couldn't move as fast. That was uh, so they just they just kept adding power, but they lost speed along the way. So, but yeah, Super Saiyan Two is like the pure form of that. And then, so yeah, he was the strongest character in the show at the end of the Cell Saga. Uh, and, but yeah, if people, and I have noticed on Twitter at least that people are getting interested in Dragon Ball because of this uh, this fighting game. Because it's, again, it's super ridiculous and it highlights the most intense parts of Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. The most, uh, which is the best, part, essentially the best parts of a, of a fighting anime. So... <laughs> And uh, but also has highlighted uh, fans' insistence on what the right way to watch a show is, and if you're doing it another way, you're wrong. Or people are people saying you should read the the manga. Oh god! And, and I, I'm like, I'm like, okay, never tell someone to read the manga. Yeah. Like like for it's for we we all everyone that pretty much everyone that's a Dragon Ball fan got into it through Dragon Ball Z the yeah, cartoon. Aunt, on Toonami. Yeah. And I will, I agree that if you watch Dragon Ball first, it makes Dragon Ball Z better. But you do not need to watch Dragon Ball to enjoy Dragon Ball Z. No. And and honestly, yeah. it, Dragon Ball Z will probably be the entrance way into getting you into Dragon Ball. It's not yeah. probably going to be yeah, the, and, the opposite yeah, way around cuz Dragon Ball is a much more lighthearted uh, affair yes. and it doesn't have the action hooks that Dragon Ball Z does. So I don't know, like, I mean, again, maybe this is both of us having come to the series or ha- having come to Dragon Ball Z first, but I can't see going through the entirety of the original Dragon Ball just to get to Z, which is a very different show. Yeah. Uh, yes. Dragon Ball itself, especially in the early bars, like I said, very lighthearted. It's mostly an adventure in the very beginning of the show, and it does not become a fighting anime till like uh, a quarter of the way through. And then it's still not quite there for a while. Yeah. Uh, the it does have some of the best fights in the whole series. The Goku versus uh, Master Roshi fight, and the Goku versus Tien, and the Goku versus 
uh, King Piccolo and Piccolo Jr. are all very, very good fights, especially especially the Piccolo fights. So they are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, uh, asking somebody to do that, though, is like yeah. saying, like, hey, yeah. start at an actor's beginning of his career and then get up to his most recent thing. It's like, yeah, it, and it seems these stupid. People, and these people are getting into it because of Z. Like, actually, Dragon Ball Fighters is technically taking place during Super, but, who, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, uh, Z is uh, the just more yeah. recognizable yeah. name. Yeah, a lot of the... And, like it will if you would watch dragon ball it will make the beginning of goku and piccolo teaming up and goku dying five episodes in a lot more uh meaningful but i feel i still feel like you aren't going to expect the main character to bite it five characters into the show yeah and you, they, they do a yeah. very good job of selling that piccolo and goku do not yeah. like each other it's yeah it yeah. I, I would say it it adds to it but it's completely unnecessary yeah i uh, part of me has always wished that I could have experienced in the proper order. Uh, I'll never, I will never get to, but I, I still enjoy Dragon Ball quite, quite a bit. I love Dragon Ball. Uh, Z, Z, I prefer only because of nostalgia. I feel like Dragon Ball is overall has a better, is a better paced show. But uh, uh, Z, if you just want the action, you want to watch Z. Uh, now the right way to watch Z is also up to you. Uh, I am gonna probably try and watch some Kai. I have. Uh, I have, I have personal, again, nostalgia probably keeps me from Kai. A lot of people, uh, Kai's probably the easiest one to recommend to people because it's the, uh, shortened, more, uh, it's a m- way more streamlined version. Z has a lot of filler in it. I believe Kai cuts out all, all the filler. Yeah. It uh, basically it just goes from fight to fight to fight to fight. It's pretty, it's pretty tight if you're just looking for action. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember the violence being very censored in when it first aired. I don't know if the uncut version. Uh, I believe even the uncut version isn't quite as violent as Z is. Uh, even I mean, it's Dragon Ball Z Kai, but I mean, but I'm going to call it Z and call it Kai. Uh, yeah, I guess they just just call it Kai and Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah for yeah. Yeah, any anyone listening, Dragon Ball Z is the original what 400 and something episode run of this thing. Uh, 291. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was only slightly exaggerating. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And then Kai is like a hundred something episodes. It's basically uh, just a consolidated 70 to something uh, to 190 or something like that. It's okay. like a hundred. It's like a hundred episodes less. Yeah, I was gonna it's, say, it, it's a considerably consolidated uh, experience. Um, also, there, I, I think the weakness of Dragon Ball Z, as, or yeah, Z is just the how long things take, and that is just them stretching out content for the sake of it being a serial, serialized show. Whereas Kai, it does sort of have the benefit of effectively being an OVA and not really needing to worry about that. Um, the I would say the the cream of the crop of the example there is. The, oh, I don't know, 20 episodes uh, that it took Planet Namek to blow up in 10 minutes. I thought it was five. Is it I 10? I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a... Whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, certainly, it's yeah, a yeah. long time. Yeah, it, a lot it, of the, and a lot of things happen on the, in, that, in that five to ten minutes. Yeah. So, and there's yeah. also a lot of... I, I, my, my friend and I used to joke about this, that Dragon Ball Z could never start a fight without them telling you how they were going to beat you and then having a flashback about it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Kai, Kai just skips that entirely, which I, like I said, if you're looking for an action thing, this, it, it is the much better paced of the two. Dragon Ball Z does add some kind of silly nonsense to it that is maybe more akin to Dragon Ball. So if you happen to start with Kai and then go back and watch the original Dragon Ball, watching, maybe just going in and watching those, you know, quote unquote filler episodes of Dragon Ball Z might actually be the way to go. Yeah. Uh, you Just going to Dragon Ball, you have to, you have to understand that it's a, it's a different show. Yeah. It's, it has, it's going for a different thing. It's a very, the power levels have not gotten ridiculous. There is no Super Saiyan. There's no Kaioken. There's not even any Kaioken. So there aren't Saiyans. Like you don't even know Goku's an alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you kind of do. They kind of yeah. they they yeah. kind of spoil yeah. that pretty yeah. early on. Yeah. They, they 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 don't they never actually specifically say he's from a different planet though. Like he's it's pretty I clear. I, that he, yeah, I was that gonna he's, say I don't think they need to. I I, I think yeah. unless you're a complete dunce, you can figure out yeah. that oh he's not from around here. Yeah. But you also don't know he was sent to like destroy the planet. Yeah. So I was gonna say yeah. I think that, I think yeah. that's the only thing they leave up in the air until Dragon Ball Z happens. Yeah. So they're like the that first episode of Dragon Ball Z is probably gonna be a lot to, to take in. It's it, it that Rat, Raditz does a bit of a plot does a, did a bit of an info dump pretty early on in that episode uh so 
But otherwise, if you really want to watch it, yeah. And if you want the a streamlined version, Kai is of when I a lot of people really like Kai. I don't. Also, the soundtrack is different. It's, I think it's the original Japanese soundtrack in Kai. I prefer the Bruce Falconer soundtrack for Z. Uh, with it, it's a little more. It's a little more Western, obviously. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of good. Uh, some of my favorite themes of any uh, from any anime are in. Uh, the original Bruce Falconer soundtrack, like Vegeta's Super Saiyan theme or Perfect Cell's theme, or the Super Saiyan Goku theme, are all incredible. And you don't, you don't, I believe you don't get those in Kai. You, so, also the opening song is No Rock the Dragon. No, uh, no. yeah, uh, that that I was actually going to say, even though yeah. I know I know what we're, we were originally kind of talking about the uh, yeah, the, yeah, how this one takes place or how the how Fighters takes place in more the. Blue. Super. It, it's super. It's very, it's very yeah. much in the. It's it's straight up in the super uh, timeline. Yeah. Uh, spoiler yeah. alert. I'm putting Rock the Dragon at the end of this. I'm sorry. I don't. Oh, care. I was gonna. <laughs> I was happening. gonna ask. I was gonna ask you too. Like, so like, we I so I could not. If you had asked for anything else, I would have overridden yeah. you. Sorry. That, yeah. that, that's it, what's happening at the end of this podcast. The Dragon, that's, that's the Dragon Ball song. That's the the sh- song, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. It's uh, I, I hear that song. My child. It's all my childhood just comes rushing back. So. <laughs> It's one of my favorite songs, <laughs> ironically and unironically. So, <laughs> it's, uh, so yeah, yeah. I, I've got a lot of songs like that where I'm like, yeah, this is stupid, but I like it. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, just playing this game has been uh, bringing back all the stuff. I still remember a lot of moments in Dragon Ball, like as a kid watching them, what, what I was doing when a lot of the big moments happened. They really, they really stuck with me. They still do. I, I, I still unironically love that show for all its faults. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, one- as a guy who kind of fell off off of it, I mean, for me to actually have gone and bought the Blu-rays of Kai or a good chunk of Kai, like and having watched them at some point, I think it was like after my hip surgery. You know, I had a yeah. had a lot of free time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I I found myself really enjoying it. Um, it's it's one of those shows that like you know I like I burned out of it, and I think it was just because of the length and the amount of other anime I was watching at the time, and I was like, I can't sit here and watch this many episodes of a show. And then coming back to it in Kai, it's like, oh, this goes down nice and breezy. Like this is this is great. I mean, this is, um, yeah. If you, this, if you, is, if you, this is going to be a weird comparison because I mean, I'm sure the Venn diagram of people that are, I'm going to explain this to is maybe me. Um, <laughs> but this is the Harvey Birdman uh, of uh, of Phoenix Wright games. <laughs> okay, that's that's fair. It's a nice and smooth experience <laughs> that goes down in, in uh, a quarter of the time it takes the I other do. one too. I do love me some Harvey, Harvey Birdman, so I I approve that uh, comparison. Uh, the but yeah, also I guess I should mention another another option is Dragon Ball Z abridged on from Team Four Star. If you just want, if you, it will, it is a, a cre- much faster way to get through this to get through at least to the Cell Saga. It is, but it is a parody, and I think it will you'll be able to appreciate it more if you'd seen the show already. It is very it's very much a parody, and it will. And it, while it is hilarious and well, incredibly well done for a uh, for a dubbed for a dubbed over parody show, uh, I recommend watching that afterwards. Pe- I've seen people rec- recommending that as well. I would say save that. It's it's uh, there's so many in jokes in the show that it will just go over your head. Uh, but yeah, that's other, otherwise just watch the show whatever you want. Honestly, yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't think. Um... <laughs> I don't think the the original series is really available on Blu-ray. I know it's out on uh, DVD. Z, Z? Yeah, I have I have Z on Blu-ray. Oh, it's is it on Blu-ray? Blu-ray? Okay, I yeah, had no idea. It's, yeah. It's, yeah, all the uh, it's basically the you remember the orange bricks, the orange boxes. They the uh, they were D, they were DVD collections, but they have they're basically they're essentially the same uh, sort of re- remastered touch up as the Blu-ray version is. Oh, okay. If you if, if people that have used those, uh, but yeah, every every season is on Blu-ray. They uh, also it, uh, it's separated into the three main uh, sagas, Frieza, Cell, and Boo, and the artwork on each, and they're all separated into three seasons, uh, three discs. So, and the artwork on each one makes one image. If you put, if you put three together, so that's fun. <laughs> oh, kind of like the uh, the yeah. VHSs used to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. So. I had a uh, I well, uh, my friend that you know we used to watch it together. Uh, he actually had every single VHS. <laughs> Of those yeah, things. I I only have the first, uh, I only have up to the free through the Frieza saga on Blu-ray. I've not gotten around to buying the rest of them. Yeah, but uh, it's but yeah, those exist. Again, Kai is also on Blu-ray, and uh, I don't believe Dragon Ball is, 
It's, uh, no, it's I don't think so. It's unfortunate. It's just not as popular as Z. So I, I, I well, um, it's 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 great. But, you know, I GT might be. I don't know. Uh, I don't. Yeah. You know, if you really want to watch GT, that's I. I GT is a whole other thing. Um, it, it's basically it, it's basically been written off the canon. Um, yeah, it's, tr- treat it like a what yeah. is it? Is it twenty four episodes? Or twenty six? No, or is it no, 12? no, no. It's like ninety. Ninety. Oh, is it really? Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah, there. Um, yeah, it's, I was going to say treat it treat it like um treat it like all the movies that came out. They're they're non canon. They're just like just take it for what it is and just kind of run with it. I mean, yeah. really, I think the <laughs> only movie I've seen was that um, or was Tree of Life. World's tree, strongest. tree, tree of, tree of might. Uh, world's tree of might's good. Oh, world's strongest is also okay. good. I tree of might uh, has some nostalgia for me too. I think that was the first one I saw. I think it may um, have been the first one they yeah. released. So yeah, yeah. And then uh, um, the one Dead where Zone, like it, Dead, it, Dead Zone's pretty good. That that would also explain a filler if you watch Dragon Ball Z with Garlic Junior, uh, which is one of the. Uh, it's a whole arc of filler. It's not good. No. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but well. It's, Sold, yeah. sold me on dead, that no, one. No, dead, dead Zone, the movie, is pretty good. Okay. But the and it, but the arc itself is a total filler arc and not necessary. It's yeah. it does it does have a lot of Krillin in it though. So you oh, know. okay. Yeah, the only other one I think I've seen is the um the one where it shows uh like Trunks as a kid in the future. Oh yeah. Uh uh shit. Save the is it save the future? What the fuck's it called? Oh, history of trunks. History of trunks. Okay, it's, yeah, uh, that's, you know, yeah I've, that's, I've, I've that, seen three that, of these things. That one's also ex- history of trunks. Also excellent. Uh, it's one of the dark. It's one of the darker things in, in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, I do remember uh, tonally. Yeah. It's for a show that's about the you know people beating the shit out of each other and a lot of people dying, even though they yeah. get all, even though they pretty much all get re- resurrected at some point. Um, yeah, that, that that one I do remember just tonally. It was like this is kind of I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it explains all of Trunks' backstory, and while you get hints, you get plenty of hints at how dark it was in the show. Like that, that movie really cements it. It also has uh, a really good adult Gohan in it, and uh, who is his mentor. So yeah, it's a good, it's a really cool alt history thing. Yeah, and uh, has also one of the best Super Saiyan transformations in the show, also uh, in the whole show. So yeah, I agree with that. I, I do remember yeah. that. So I mean, Goku's is pretty. You know, I mean, go go go! Goku will never be topped. So yeah, I was gonna say you can't top that one. I mean, he was the first yeah. one to do it, and the the yeah. circumstances of which it happened, it's like okay, yeah. impressive. So yeah, uh, number two, Gohan, Gohan Super Saiyan two, and then that one's up there. That, that one's definitely up there. The yeah. the Trunks one. Uh, so yeah, like that's a lot of options. It's a long show. Uh, there's but there's a lot of good. There is a lot of good stuff in there. If you like, if you are digging the game and you are kind of digging the characters that, and you want to know more about them, I, I there is the Funimation app also a way to do it. If you want, if you get an account with Funimation, they have every Dragon Ball show on there, okay. uh, every, uh, including GT. If you again, if you want to, yeah. Super Saiyan Super Saiyan Four is cool. Okay, <laughs> I, I will always give that show Super Saiyan Four. Isn't that just it, like long block hair? Yeah, and it's like. You kind of are more ape like. You kind of uh, you kind of control the the great ape, the Uzaru, and kind of put it down into a more controlled form. It based on the lore of, of Saiyan stuff, it actually makes a lot of sense as a final transformation. Okay. But uh, it's but yeah, there is again GT has some stuff in it. Save that for later. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's 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 supposed to take place after Z anyway. It's not canon anymore. Yeah. Uh, it never really was. Yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I, I think I think Toriyama sort of like wrote that off as like, no, yeah. this isn't this isn't yeah. real. It, it it was the closest thing to to a continuation until Super came out. Yeah. Uh, and then Super, you <laughs> got time. Also, you got time until Super finishes anyway, so you can catch up that, by then yeah. too. So. I was gonna say, let, let's say a GT is just the um, world's best produced fan fiction of Dragon Ball. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's the best way of putting it at this point. It's also got a really terrible rap song opening that I love ironically. Uh, and yeah, the Dragon Ball GT rap is, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever heard it. Like I know the, uh, what is it? Um, geez, I'm trying to remember what they are. Like I've got two, like I've got two songs that I've, uh, that I've kept in my like music things forever. Uh, it, I'm going to just look up the names because I am I, yeah. without looking at them. I'm going is to it, slaughter is, them. Is it, is one of them head shala? No, or, uh, let's see. But, uh, um, G- and also the rap explains what GT stands for. It stands for Grand Tour. So that's you know, that's 
There's that. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, Hitori Janai. Okay. That's... And Dan Dan Kokoro. Oh, God, I hate it when they get too long. Uh, Hikari Teku. Yeah, that that one, the second one is the is a pretty famous one. I'm trying to think, it might be the opening. Um, again, I don't I don't listen to the Japanese soundtrack a lot. I have yeah. not heard it. I've heard this was, I, yeah. this was just stuff I uh, was like going through looking for anime songs, like anime theme songs yeah. when I when a Winamax yeah. was a thing, and like you know Audio Galaxy was a thing back uh, you know like early 2000s. So this was just stuff that have has kind of followed me around through the years that I've kept. So there's a bunch of these that I deleted. I mean, um, what is it? There's a God. There's a Star Ocean anime that's uh, based on the second game that's pretty terrible, but the opening like song like I I, I like that a lot. It, I even bought like the first three discs maybe for yeah. game, of the of that anime and just like checked out of it. I'm like this thing is terrible, but I've kept that song. So yeah, yeah. yeah the uh, I, I mentioned some earlier. I guess if you want to look at music, uh, Vegeta Super Saiyan theme, Goku Super Saiyan theme, Perfect Cell theme. Uh, Super Saiyan 3's theme. Uh, trying to think. Uh, Trunks' theme, the hero's theme, I think is what it might be called. Hmm. All all really good. All really good stuff. Uh, you know, I've got to say, I never yeah. really pay that much attention to the Dragon Ball soundtrack. The thing is, I think if you listen to them, you will recognize them. Because I'm, they're, I'm uh, yeah. sure they'll click yeah. something in my brain, especially... Yeah. Uh, anything from uh, you know the beginning uh, up until Goku landing on Namek because I watched that four fucking times. <laughs> yeah, the they reran that a lot. Yeah, back. well, they reran yeah. that because uh, they hadn't yeah. licensed anything beyond that yeah. for yeah. a few years. So I, that was just an endless loop on uh, Cartoon Network or wherever it was I was watching it. Yeah, I think it was Cartoon Network. So yeah. yeah, you know this this big moment of Goku landing on Namek and just being like, "All right, I'm here to fuck shit up and take and, and save the day," a, and then good moment too back it's such to uh, the beginning yeah yeah, yeah the, and but it did make when it finally finally got to to goku beating frieza or goku even going super saiyan it did make it, it did make it all the sweeter even make it because well it, good it, got, it uh it, it made it all the sweeter when they actually ran past that episode for god's sakes that was great <laughs> yeah I, I i still remember the first time i even got past the cell saw into the boo stuff and like uh, young me seeing because that would have been like oh two oh three i think so i would have been uh eight or nine and seeing goku go like super saiyan three like, all I was of a sudden 20 he's, like, or 21 Holy yeah, shit. yeah 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 like dragon ball z uh, the nostalgia factor is strong with me yeah uh, based on age so like Seeing Goku go Super Saiyan three, like there had been, he had been, there had been no hints at that up until that point. He's like, oh, by the way, and he's like, uh, and he it charges up for. I'm pretty sure, ten minutes of that episode are him charging up for Super, Super Saiyan three, and I'm not exaggerating. I'm pretty sure it's like ten minutes, and it's that would not surprise yeah. me. I mean, then this, remember, uh, yeah. Namek was going to blow up in five or ten minutes, and that took yeah. twenty episodes. So. Yeah, and I just I remember, I remember that because I just got back from football practice with a friend, and we were eating some McDonald's and watching that and losing our shit. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the and again that's one of the best theme songs in the whole show uh so it's good stuff all around all right well i think that uh, i think that about wraps up our dragon ball talk there um yeah yeah i can't i, I mean outside of like talking about the series itself i don't think we can go much more of a deep dive and man i haven't watched that show in a long enough time to really do that i mean like i said when i was doing the uh when i was doing, watching kai after my hip surgery it was more of a Sort of like keep it in the background while I'm writing or like playing something on my DS. It was just like I, I know all the plot points for the most part, but this was just sort of like a refresher course for me. And it was just kind of cool, smooth way of taking it down easily. So anyway, um, that'll wrap it up for this episode. Uh, I think – is it next week we're going to be doing uh, The Blade Runner with Connor or is that two weeks? Yeah, thanks. Next week, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. so next week uh, we're going to be uh, – next week's going to be um, – a movie club, I guess. Man, I don't know. I mean, I, I think of it the same way as uh, we talked about film, the last, film uh, club. The, or, I don't uh, film. Yeah, Last Jedi. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, think of it the same way as like Last Jedi. Basically, that's all we're going to be talking about with that one. So, um, yeah. So if movies aren't your thing, I guess skip it. But uh, I don't know. I, I think we did. I think we had a lot of fun with the last one. You know, games came up in that one anyway because you know I, I forcibly had to bring up uh, X Wing and Tie Fighter. 
Yeah, and I'm sure I'm sure games will come up in a cyberpunk movie. Yeah. So, um, uh, actually, I've been wanting to play that uh, point and click adventure game a lot. So maybe I'll... it's it, that's I've seen that game. It's very cool, actually. Yeah. It's so. Yeah, that's that's something I've been wanting to do. Maybe. And of course, yeah. CD Projekt Red, they're teasing 2077. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to that. I feel like E3 is finally going to be the time we see some some of that game. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe we'll get a teaser release date like 2021. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've been awfully quiet about that still. So. Yeah, yeah but uh, if anyone out there, if you want some Dragon Ball in your life, play the play Fighters. If you like fighting games, definitely play Fighters. It's a hell of a time. Yeah. So. All right, uh, so we'll wrap this up with quick plugs. Um, you know, you can go to the site, check everything else there as far as social media stuff goes. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Jason Ariola and John Lucero at John Lucero777. And I think that should do it. So until next week, we will talk at you guys later. Dragon, dragon, ball, sing! Dragon, dragon, ball!